You guys ready? Alright. Three, two, one, go! Knowing the theory is just, it's not the same as being able to see the changes yourself. Um, like with this lab, you change, by changing the velocity of the oil, you get to see when it changes from laminar to turbulent. You gain a sense of, hey, I'm actually doing this. Like, I'm not just learning the theory anymore, I'm actually applying this, I'm actually gaining the skills to do this. And this is something that I could carry forward and actually work on in the future. MEC 338 is a complementary course to some of our thermal fluids courses that the students take. It really solidifies the concepts uh, for the students. It's kind of hard to visualize some of those concepts when you're talking about them in lecture. But being in this lab and really getting a hands-on experience with things like engines, it's not just useful, it's also uh, really interesting and kind of fun. Like for mechanical engineers, uh, it is a lot of hands-on work even in the industry, right? So if you just sit at a computer or you just uh, get a theory knowledge, you won't be able to really perform out there. So which one was that? Basically, we learn all the theory, but you never really get an understanding until you actually put it into practice and actually looking at the actual measurements and looking at how the science behind all of it works. And because uh, there's a difference between theory and real life, and you're going to find that a lot in this lab. What happened? Yeah. Ah. Curiosity is what every student should have uh, when it comes to learning in practical. So like we learn something in theory and how does this work and then uh, what is, uh, the theory will always give you ideal results and then uh, practical results would be somewhat different and then what is, uh, what is the difference and what can they do about it. So it's just curiosity that drives it. No, I think Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So this is a unique opportunity for CSU students to enhance their learning, uh, their classroom learning because there's a lot of difference between a lecture hall and an actual project like this. 